Welcome to a journey into the wild where we explore a fascinating scenario. A fight between a cougar and a wolverine. These encounters are not very common in nature, but today we'll delve into the realm of what if. This discussion is not just a duel of claws and fangs, it's a glimpse into the lives of two remarkable predators. While our exploration is based on facts, it remains speculative, with the unavoidable touch of imagination blended in. The cougar, a symbol of stealth and strength, roams the American wilderness. This solitary predator, also known as a mountain lion, is renowned for its agility and power. Cougars are adaptable, inhabiting diverse environments from forests to mountains. On the other hand, the wolverine, a bundle of ferocity in a small package, is known for its tenacity. Wolverines survive in some of the harshest climates, displaying remarkable endurance. These creatures, though different in size and habitat, share a reputation as formidable predators in their respective domains. First, let's take a look at the types of animals that cougars and wolverines regularly encounter and kill in the wild. For cougars, their prey mainly includes larger animals like deer, elk and occasionally moose, reflecting their strength and ability as solitary ambush predators. Wolverines, on the other hand, are known to scavenge and hunt smaller or more vulnerable prey, including rodents, rabbits and occasionally also ungulates like caribou, especially in winter or in weakened states. Wolverine's ability to hunt bigger animals like caribou may have been underestimated, as some recent research suggests they are quite capable of doing this. Nevertheless, the way the wolverines kill caribou seems to rely on their exceptional endurance. They pursue a caribou to the point of exhaustion before killing it. So, while this may not tell us too much about the wolverine's fighting skills, it does highlight their great endurance which would also be at least somewhat relevant as a factor in a fight against cougar. Next, let's examine the question of bite force. In nature, the bite force of predators like the cougar and wolverine isn't just about raw power. It's an adaptation for survival. There are significant discrepancies in the PSI numbers found on various online sources. And one might even question if the whole concept of bite force is unproblematic for comparison purposes. Considering different teeth and jaw structures and their functions for each animal. In particular, the reported PSI numbers for the Wolverine stir debate, ranging from as low as 50 PSI, significantly weaker than a human's bite, to a staggering 1,700 PSI, surpassing the formidable bites of tigers and bears. These extremes are implausible, suggesting caution in interpretation as well as in treatment of sources. A moderate estimate like 224 PSI aligns better with the Wolverine's known dietary habits and physical capabilities. This disparity in bite force figures underlines the difficulty in direct comparisons, as each species' bite has developed for specific, often very different, survival tasks. By comparison, the cougar is said to have a bite force of 350 to 400 PSI. It exemplifies this with jaws designed for quick kills, a necessity for an ambush predator. Let's move to a broader analysis of each combatant's strengths and weaknesses. Cougar strengths, physical power. Cougars have significant muscle mass, vital for grappling with and overpowering their prey. This strength is a key factor in their ability to take down animals much larger than themselves. Agility and flexibility. Their agility allows them to make powerful leaps and sudden turns. This flexibility is crucial in both capturing prey and evasive maneuvers during conflicts. Stealth and ambush tactics. Cougars are masters of stealth, using their camouflaged fur and silent movement to ambush prey. This skill could be advantageous in initiating a conflict on their terms. Speed. Their capability for short bursts of speed is an asset in both hunting and potentially in evading conflict if necessary. Cougar weaknesses. Endurance in prolonged conflicts. While powerful cougars may not be built for endurance in long battles, potentially leading to quicker exhaustion compared to smaller, more tenacious adversaries. Risk aversion. As solitary hunters, cougars are generally cautious. A significant injury can be detrimental to their hunting ability, leading them to avoid unnecessary risks. Wolverine strengths. Remarkable tenacity and courage. Wolverines are known for their fearless nature, often taking on challenges much larger than themselves, this fearlessness could be intimidating to opponents. Endurance and stamina, adapted to harsh environments, 
Wolverines have high stamina and can endure prolonged physical exertion, an advantage in extended conflicts. Protective physical attributes, their dense fur and tough skin provide some level of defense against physical attacks. Also, while perhaps not quite as powerful as the cougars, the wolverine's powerful jaws can still inflict very serious wounds. Wolverine weaknesses. Size disadvantage. Despite their ferocity, wolverines are significantly smaller than cougars, which could limit their physical impact in a direct confrontation. Less specialized hunting skills. Unlike cougars, which are specialized ambush predators, wolverines are opportunistic feeders. This might reflect a less refined approach to direct combat with large predators. In summary, the cougar's blend of power and stealth is offset by its preference for avoiding prolonged conflict and risk. While the wolverine's tenacity and endurance are contrasted with its smaller size and less specialized combat skills, this intricate balance of attributes shapes the potential dynamics of a hypothetical encounter between these two formidable predators. It's time to draw our conclusions about the fight between the cougar and the wolverine. Rather than declare an unequivocal winner and loser, we go with a more nuanced approach of examining specific scenarios with the aim of assigning probabilities. Scenario 1 – Duel to Death In this intense scenario, where both the cougar and wolverine are fully committed to a fight to the death, the cougar's advantages in size, strength and agility become crucial, as well as ability to more effectively use claws both in attacking and especially in controlling the opponent. The cougar would likely use its power to deliver swift damaging strikes, aiming to incapacitate the wolverine quickly. The wolverine, on the other hand, would rely on its tenacity and endurance, attempting to outlast and wear down the cougar. Given the cougar's propensity for quick, decisive battles, it needs to find a way to do damage relatively quickly. But despite the wolverine's dense fur and tough skin, the cougar has enough advantages to gain a very good chance here. The Wolverine is likely to put up a decent fight, but the Cougar can control the fight to a significant extent simply with its size, strength, and effective use of claws. However, the Wolverine's resilience and determination shouldn't be underestimated, as it could turn the tables if the Cougar fails to deliver a swift victory. In this extreme duel, we might estimate a 60% winning probability for the Cougar, and 40% for the Wolverine, reflecting the Cougar's physical advantages against the Wolverine's endurance and tenacity. So is that the end of the story? The Cougar probably wins, and the Wolverine's grittiness doesn't save it from its downfall, right? Well, not so fast. This is where unrealistic idealizations may differ from the solid bedrock of reality. Which brings us to Scenario 2, Realistic Encounter. In a more realistic encounter, where escape is an option and making the opponent flee counts as victory, the dynamics change significantly. The cougar, while powerful, may prefer to avoid a prolonged fight, especially against a relentless opponent like the wolverine. The wolverine's ferocity could make the cougar reconsider its commitment to the battle rather quickly, increasing the likelihood of the cougar choosing to disengage and flee. Even fighting over a freshly killed prey animal may not be enough to motivate the cougar to continue fighting the wolverine. After seeing that this relatively small but tenacious critter punches well above its weight, in this scenario the probability of the wolverine winning by driving the cougar away might be higher, potentially around 65% with the cougar's chances at 35%. This better reflects the natural behaviors and strategic decision-making of these wild animals in a realistic confrontation. In this scenario, the role of aggression, endurance, and tenacity is pivotal. The Wolverine, despite its smaller size, brings exceptional stamina and an unyielding spirit to the fight. This endurance means it can sustain a conflict longer than one might expect, potentially outlasting the Cougar. The cougar, while physically dominant, may not have the same level of tenacity or endurance for a protracted battle. In conclusion, our exploration of a hypothetical fight between a cougar and wolverine has revealed insights into their unique strengths and survival strategies. The cougar, with its physical prowess and agility, holds an advantage in a duel to the death. However, in a more realistic scenario where escape is an option, 
The Wolverine's relentless tenacity and endurance could shift the odds in its favor. This discussion underscores the complexity of nature, where survival often depends on a delicate balance of power, strategy, and adaptability. Thank you for watching. Whether you agree with our analysis or not, feel free to share your opinion in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified of our next videos.